up the ash. Yeah, ho, we tapping and passing like magic. No, we not asking, we see it, we grab it. Diamonds, they flash and go blind when I'm passing. Mask on, I'm clapping, no mask on assassin. Jugging, we snatching all black is the fashion. We not the same, bro, just look at the fabric. Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Kama. We back with another video, man. Um, Real quick, I'm at work. So the Eagles fall to the Timber Bay Buccaneers. 28-22. Um, just watching the highlights of the game. I'm not going to like I watched the game and watching like the summaries and what people saying. The game wasn't that close. I know that because I followed the score closely. And so like the game wasn't that close. The Eagles scored the touchdown well with a couple of minutes left, a few minutes left, and two point conversion and then timing them iced the game, so to speak. But I was looking at the stats like Jalen Hurts 115 yards versus this secondary is crazy. I mean, from what I'm hearing, the the um, D line was collapsing the pocket on him and he was running and things of that nature. I mean, be that as it may, because being a Cowboys fan, that happened to us too. First game of the season, Via Bay was pushing our um, Biadish into Dak Lap and like I mean things happen. They got a good defense line, but 115 versus this secondary who's arguably one of the worst in the league right now is crazy and it's unacceptable. I feel like this one of them second secondaries and Nick Seriani calling RPOs against one of the best run defense in the in the league is crazy to me. Miles Sanders seemed to had a okay day against them though, but that was crazy in itself. I think sometimes you just got to drop back and you just got to trust your matchups. I thought for sure this was the game that I picked the Eagles to lose. But I thought for sure this was the game that Jalen Hurts probably get another 300-yard game or something like that because I know, listen, I think the Eagles team is bad, right? I know that the Eagles team is bad. But I didn't think that the wide receivers and things in the line was that bad or Jalen Hurts was that bad that they could couldn't muster two hundred yards of throwing the ball against this team. Like I don't think who what team hasn't had a good output against Temple Bay this year offensively. I mean I seen some clips of him missing some throws, some key throws and things of that nature. I just think um no, in Philadelphia, man, we we a couple of losses away from Mentu Mania and people calling for Seriani's job and things of that nature, man. I just it's just my opinion, man. Um, two and four, but the thing the thing that um get on my nerves about Eagle fans, right? Some Eagle fans are gonna be real. Some Eagle fans are gonna say, okay, we hung with them. Which I respect that. If you you the final score is what the final score is, y'all lost by a touchdown. It is what it is. But what happens is you talk about the defense and stuff today, how terrible the offense is today. But then you go play a Detroit team, or I know y'all got Detroit somewhere. You got Detroit somewhere close down the line within the next couple of weeks. You will play a Detroit team or something who's zero and five and probably beat up on them and Jalen Hurts looks amazing and has 300 yards and 60 yards rushing and Devontae Smith and then the, the defense picks off Jared Goff twice and now y'all talking like y'all in contention to win the NFC I mean it just never gets old with this team man it's like their expectations change every game really every game it is what it is though man but that's just my quick thoughts on that man but Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I remember like and subscribe. It's your boy Kama. Salute.